Alright, we're set, everything is golden. What's up on my dragonlings, Damien Dragon here, and welcome back to another Q&A. Um, last time we left off, we left off on 2, so we're gonna go to number 23. So, I'm not gonna waste any more time, we're gonna go to our some other questions. We'll go from there. Alright, what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? So, we're right what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Um, what I would like to be fluent in? Japanese. I would love to know a little bit more, a little bit about Japanese. I don't know how to speak Japanese. Uh, uh, I can't. But I say an amas. But I say I can't. I can't get my throat to do it. But I say an amas. I think it is. But I say an amas. I can't with my voice like this. It sucks. But I say an amas. I believe it is. I don't know what it means, but I, I heard it before. All right. But, fluent, another fluent language, if I want to ever do it, Japanese. My mother tried to teach me Spanish, but it didn't work. Now, my family isn't Spanish. We grew up around uh, Puerto, Rican, and Puerto Rican families and stuff like that. So, yeah. Alright, number 24. Do you spell the color as gray or gray? So, G-R-E-Y or G-R-A-Y. Now, I spelled the color, the color of gray as G-R-E-Y. Now, if, I have the, if my day was a little bit gray, G-R-A-Y. I don't know why there's two, there's two spellings for the same thing. I don't know. Is your father bald? Yes. Do you know triplets? No. 27. Do you prefer it to ti Titanic or the notebook? Titanic. Never heard of the notebook. I've... I've heard that it's a movie never watched it it sounded sappy and I'm pretty sure I was correct I did watch the Titanic longest three hours of my fucking life holy fucking shit I ever eaten Indian food no but I've had Indian cookies and the funny thing is um, about 20 minutes away from my house there's a market Around the world market and it's an Indian place and me and my friends stumbled in there we were like we were hungry because we were walking to uh, Walmart and me and him were like and, and this was in the middle of the night so we were very tired and stuff like that so we were like let's just grab something come on me and him grabbed it me and him went in and we were like this is not a place for us we couldn't understand what the hell was on any of the food. So have I ever had any of the food? One. And there was cookies. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? Favorite restaurant. Ah. <clears throat> favorite restaurant. I don't know. I don't know. Um. My favorite restaurant is... I love Golden Corral. I love Golden Corral. I actually went there um, about a, two weeks ago. And I had a couple... Um, I had some meals. So, yeah, Golden Corral. I never went to many big chain restaurants and stuff like that. 
I don't know why. I'm gonna be trying Outback Outback Steakhouse at some point, but go to Corral. One of my favorite restaurant. Let me go to Corral. All you can eat food. Love it. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Once, and that was after we got into a car crash. And I never wanted to go there again. It wasn't because um. It wasn't because, uh, the people were bad. I don't want you to take it like that. Like, we were on our way home from a wedding. And we got T-boned. So we got hit from behind. Well, no, not I believe. No, 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 no. I need to rethink the story. I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's what I... That's what I was under the impression of, but it was a long time ago. But we got into a car crash, and the first, the only place we um had to go was inside an Olive Garden, and they served us free waters and um some free drinks as our fucking car was smoking uh outside. We got home. Yeah. We got home. So I'm happy. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? Do you belong to them? Costco's BJ's. <laughs> hey! What you doing there? No! Maybe at one point I gotta start working, but you know. What would your parents have named you? If you were the opposite gender, Daniela? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna call my mom for this one either. She can barely speak. So no. My my mother is still uh very sick. As you can hear, I'm still am too, but only barely. <coughs> Ah, but I don't know what my mother would call me if I was the opposite gender. Damina? Demitra? I don't know. Who knows? I'm Damien. That's all you can give me. Uh, they have to throw Papa John's in my face right now. Fuck you! If you have a nickname, what is it? Okay. I have had many nicknames over the years. Wow. Um. But the commonly one known that you guys know now is Damien Dragon. That'll be my nickname, the Dragon. But. When I was a kid. Speedy was one. Well. They called me the Speedster. Taz, the Tasmanian Tiger. I was called that once because I, uh, I literally climbed everywhere, and, uh, until I was about two years old, well, at two or three when I started talking, my, um, the only thing I could get out was, uh, gargles and, uh, blubbers. So all you can hear was, blah, 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 blah. so basically, I, they nicknamed me Taz because of it, and I used to have a ta I, they used to deck me out in Taz gear, too. So that was funny. Um, but the one that everyone, everyone, everyone in my family knows me by, all my friends know me by, is the endless stomach. The endless stomach. And the reason for the nick that nickname is because I and my digest uh, my digestive tract is very off. I can't eat anything. My no one could out eat me. My family could not out eat me. If I sat, if I sat, if I sit in a buffet, we're gonna be there for about two hours. Why? Because I'm clearing out about twenty freaking dishes. At my school, they had to give me a limit on what I could eat. My school bought me to go to Corral for a um for end of the year trip. 
And oh boy, they fucked up. What they did, they said, go grab food. This is me. I was like, Vroom! I started grabbing plate after plate after plate after plate. My coach was like, he, he grabbed my arm and he's like, you need to calm down. I'm like, I just spent the entire year making your school look good. I'm eating. Hold on. Give me, give me one moment. This, I, I want to show you guys something. One moment. I know you guys are sideways. Sorry. One moment. Give me one moment. <sighs> I won this for Vance. This was me. I took the, the team that they wanted to bring. That some of them didn't even want to go. And I made it good. We would have had first place. If the other team didn't cheat. Because they were using answer sheets. Assholes. I won this. This was marked. From me. It was more of a team effort, but you want to know something? They shouldn't have stopped me. Throughout the entire year, I carried that group. I carried them all. I busted my ass for it. I busted my ass to win this. I busted my ass to make sure they look good. So, is it fair for me to go and eat as much as I want? Yep. And finally my coach subsided and he let me eat as much as I want. And then the stomach pains. Oh, that was a fun day. Ah. Who's your favorite person in the world? <coughs> if I had to choose a favorite person, I guess it would have to be my girlfriend. You know? If not my mother, because she was like, she's always fucking fun as all hell. One of the two. Would you rather live in a rural area or the suburbs? I've always lived in the suburbs. I've always lived around the city. The one time I actually lived in a freaking rural area, we were stuck in the middle of fucking batshit nowhere. Seriously. There was a long stretch of road. We used to live on a road called Prison Camp Road. Holy fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever see a road called Prison Camp Road, do not traverse it. Believe me, it was a fucking bitch. Two hours to the nearest store. We got picked up on, in a bus that took us 30 minutes to get to the school. And I left early. 
to get home on time. Seriously, I have a, I had to leave my high school. The first high school I went to was called Riverside High. When I got down to North Carolina, my first high school I went to was Riverside High. And oh boy. I, I went there, they, they were all fine, some of them were dicks, some of them were not, some of them were fun, but the funny thing is, I left school 10 to 15 minutes before everyone else in school, almost everyone. Some of the people that live around my area, they have to leave their classes 10 minutes early too. I was actually happy until we fr until we figured out that we lived across the street from a cotton farm, and then we realized that we were in danger. We got there as quickly, we got out there as quickly as we can. <clears throat> can you whistle? Actually, yes. Yes, I can. Do you sleep with the nightlight? No, I actually sleep with my TV on. That's what I do. I don't sleep um, with the nightlight. I, sl I go to sleep watching TV. I love sound. Sound. Anything that's sound. That's why I go to sleep too. I have to go to sleep hearing something. I would normally put it, I, I would put in my ear, earphones, but they're not going to last for a while. I don't want music bumping in my ear, and I don't want anything compressing my ear, or inside my ear while I fall asleep. I have a thing, I have a thing like that. I don't want nothing constricting me as I sleep. You know? Do you eat breakfast every morning? No! Actually, I don't. Because sometimes I do sleep past the, um, breakfast, and I go to something like lunch. So I'm like, some, most of the time I do not wake up just to eat, um, breakfast. Which we're at number 38, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been, uh, helping you guys keep track. Okay, we'll do, uh, two more. Do you take any pills or medication daily? Yes. Yes, I do. Some for depression. Allergies. Asthma. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. What medical condition do you have? <coughs> okay, we'll do one more after this, but... What medical conditions do I have? Asthma is a gigantic one off the bat. Swing it out of home? Yep, that's, uh... That's me. I have asthma, and very bad for some. So, yeah. I don't have ADHD, I have ADD. I believe. Or maybe not even that, no more. I'm not even sure. I'm positive I have bipolar. I'm bipolar. Cause my freaking mood switches on fucking a... On a switch. Now, I don't switch on you guys, because... I, I'm usually in a good mood when I go when I do these videos. But in my real life, when I lay down, I can when I go when I lay down, I'm like, okay, calm area. When someone knocks on the door, I there's two of the three responses. Happy, yes. The uh, yes. Or the what? And I don't even know which one's gonna turn on until someone knocks on the door. So, yeah. It could be either one. Do I have bipolar? Probably. Autism. Yep. Hit you with that bookend. I have autism. Unfortunately. So, I don't think that's a medical condition, but... It's, uh... It's something, so, yeah. 
How many times have you been to a hospital? It's going to be easier to count how many times I haven't been into the hospital. Oh boy. This will be the last question. How many times have I been to the hospital? Woo! Many, 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 many times. A couple times almost killed me. So, yeah, I don't like the hospital very much. Don't want to stand in there? Oh, yes. Or have I worked there? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Woo! Let me give you a rundown. My asthma was very severe when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, uh, the straight and narrow was never straight and narrow, if you get my drift. I could never be normal. I took to that. I took it myself as a rogue. So, people did pick on me because... I didn't want to be bothered. I couldn't play outside very much. I couldn't run as fast as the other children. I mean, I was fast! Fuck yeah, but... My stamina was very fucking low. I could burst! I can burst running! But, you can only see me run for a good... Minute... Ten seconds before I stop... And have problems breathing. Even today, I can't run very fast. I can't very run very far. I can't walk very far without having breathing problems. <coughs> Is that an issue? Yeah. Does it plague me? Yeah. Does it suck? Oh hell yeah. Because I was a really good I, I was a really good runner when I was a kid. I don't got that no more. But you want something? I don't ever let it plague me down. I don't ever let my, you know, my hardships plague me. Basically, what I do is I sit up and I accept it and try to move past it. Cause only you can. You know? I don't let my positions weigh me down. I try to see the brightest, the brightest side of things. This is called the brightest side of suffering. So, I guess that's all you can do, huh? Alright, but I think I've kept you guys long enough. <laughs> um, this was actually very fun. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, my voice is still repairing itself when trying to find its base again. Cause fuck me. I need to get more water. Jesus. <clears throat> because. Hey. <coughs> so if I sound weird, I'm sorry. But. At any rate. Hope you guys enjoyed today. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys um, found some insight. Maybe next week we'll, um, we'll get through a couple more. We'll get to the rest. But, for now guys, I think I'm going to leave it off with this. Thank you everyone so much for watching the video. And if you guys like it, please smack that like button, show who's boss, and share and subscribe for the Glory of the Dragon. So you too may become a mortal. But from Damien to to Plan, to video games all the world, I will see you Dragonlings in the very next episode. Peace my friends, good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you Dragonlings back inside. The war of the questions. Hope you guys enjoyed today. I'll see you guys next time for some more Gaming Dragon action. Peace.